Okay, here's another update. Um, uh, so I wanted to show you. Let's see, I got my my uh, venting in my battery box, and now I can show you how the wires are coming in through there. I still got to patch up the walls, but uh, there's my solar panels coming in. Then right there, that. That other one right there is my wind turbine wires, and this is the vent um, for the battery box. Um, as you can notice, uh, I started labeling everything. Uh, I still got to go over every, what everything is with my wife. You know, somebody needs to know what's going on if something happens to me, but. Uh, I got everything labeled, well, as much as I could, as much as it needs to be. And as you can see with that flashing light, I'm running off my batteries right now, which I love. Um, that little wire right there, that's the, uh, there's a 12 volt um, auxiliary spot for these Outbacks. So you can run a 12 volt fan. And I got it set up for, I think it's like, when my batteries get up to like 27.8, um, it'll turn on and start venting. Uh, see, I tried to get some stuff labeled. Got the grid tie. Okay, I did get my charge controller in for my wind turbine. Uh, it's a sweet one. Problem is, I'm not getting much wind. We're supposed to get some wind here in a little bit. Uh, we're not getting no wind right now. It's from Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, it's a 440 amp charge controller. I'll never have that much, but I'd rather have way too much than not enough. And uh, let me see. I got my brake in. I, I took off that. I had a little breaker there but I don't really need that with the, the brake it'll slow it down enough where you can work on it um, if need be uh, another grid tie for the dump I know you're not really supposed to do that I think I'm going to end up getting some of them uh, blue C transfer switches because I want to be able to um, take the the dump load and either put it in the in that grid tie or put it in if I know the weather is going to be real bad I might put it into some resistors I have some just trying to figure out where I'm going to stick them um, and also that other grid tie that's got the 280 watts worth of panels on that I want to be able to transfer that over to my Outback you know on days like today would be a good day for example um, where we're not getting squat again. And I told you about that in my first video, that we don't get a lot of sun in the winter. Um, that's why I'm hoping the wind picks up later on today, which it's supposed to. And I'll give you a little update on that. It's a 24 volt. Um, I put this, the 13 blades on it. I used to have 9, so I'm hoping that helps kick it around a little more but we'll find out but there's our mat um, try to keep everything as neat and clean as I could but there's you know you got a lot of wires when you're doing this stuff just try to keep them neat and, uh, but that's where I'm at now I want to give you some updates as soon as I uh, get some decent wind on this charge controller. I want to see how much that uh, PMA will throw out. So I'll keep you updated. Alright. Thanks.